Well, hello and welcome to a very tranquil vlog. Uh, I'm on lovely Portsmouth Beach in uh, St Ives. It's one of St Ives beaches. Uh, it's one of the quieter beaches. It's a bit bigger than the Harbour Beach, which is where I filmed my vlog from in January. Um, and we're staying literally at the back of there. So it's about 30 seconds from the front door to the beach. So I think I might just not go home. Um, it's amazing. We've just been playing on the beach with Flo and we've been making sandcastles and generally dashing around and doing kind of crazy holiday stuff. Um, and it's just so lovely. It's really lovely. So this is gorgeous Porthmere Beach, which is, oh, it's just lovely. It's high tide, it's gonna be a really high tide tonight. And I can actually hear the sea from where I'm staying. This is just lovely. It goes all the way around there. It's actually quite a big beach. And uh, it's just lovely to be here. So it's really nice to get away before I start the copy edit. Uh, it's been cut, my book eight's been copy edited. And it means it's kind of looking for picky things and for uh, timeline issues and things like that. And I love, I love the copy edit because it always finds things that I forget. Um, so I'll find that I've changed somebody's eye colour halfway through. Uh, or I've changed, sometimes changed someone's um, surname as well. The sun is just coming out and it's just shimmering on the water. Think of five different words for shimmering, that's another thing. When they come in through an edit you suddenly realise how many words you use that are the same. So what could we say instead of shimmering? Glistening. <laughs> it's the gratuitous welly shot. I love these wellies. I bought them from Rockfish and they're amazing and they're nice because they're not huge, they don't come all the way up. Um, they do look a little bit like clown shoes, Flo calls them my clown shoes. Um, but I love them because you can kind of stroll through town looking really funky in them and then let's go and hang out on the beach. So check out the wellies. It's really nice to come and um, sort of recharge my batteries and I've just completed the major edit of book eight which do you know what? It was so much hard work, but because I'd written the first draft really quickly, um, and so there were lots of things. When you write a first draft, there's lots of issues, and you know that you know it's going to be a bit of a beautiful mess. Um, but there was real. There was sort of. Um, I found there were things that I wanted to change, so I did a huge edit. I literally took the book to bits and put it back together again, and that's been really. It's hard work, but it's been worth it. Um, there were things that I wanted to have in there that I found I hadn't written in the original and so it was nice to go back and get a chance to do that again but it left me absolutely exhausted because doing that and looking after a very lively currently going through terrible twos two year old um, it's, not, it's no mean feat it's really hard work um, all worth it of course but so it's actually really nice to just get away and I I didn't know that was going to be the timing but very fortuitously um, I booked another week which is this this week in St Ives um, and I'm really pleased I just I needed to come and sit by the sea um, and one thing that I think it's made me think about a lot really is um, is kind of where my inspiration comes from and I don't want it to always come from a film that I've seen or a book that I've read I actually want to it to come from a beach that I've walked on or you know a fantastic cup of tea I've had somewhere or a conversation I've overheard in a in a cafe um, or someone I've met randomly in the street who decides to tell me their story and and I think we can get so used to just going from one story to the next and trying to tell them that we kind of forget to live um, so it's been really nice to come and kind of and kind of with an open mind really because I don't know what I'm going to write next um, I've got some ideas I've got things that I'm working on um, but yeah I, w I kind of I'm waiting for ideas to come and it's quite nice it's like waiting on a train platform and seeing who steps off the train <laughs> I'll be interested to see who it is who knows who knows I've just had an 84 year old um, former singer who's a bit of a hell raiser and she's been immense fun to write. I can't wait till you meet her. She's amazing. Um, so who could step off the train this time? Who knows? I wasn't expecting Rainy Silver so let's see. Let's see what happens next. 
so there we go that's it for this week uh hope you enjoyed it send me your questions for next week because i'd love to know what you'd like me to talk about take care and have a lovely week see you soon bye <laughs>